legends, before 3077 BC, China entered the second period, the Three Emperors period. Three Emperors, they are the ancestors of the Huaxia, Han, people. Because there are different opinions, different works have different opinions on it. This film introduces the history of the Three Emperors based on historical records. The so-called Three Emperors are, the Emperor Suiren, the Emperor Fuxi, and the Emperor Shennong. Emperor Suiren. The Emperor was known as the Suiren clan in history. His surname was Ji, his given name was Sui, and he was honored as Sui Huang. A native of Shangqiu, Hunan, one said, a native of Jiaozuo, Hunan. His greatest achievements were drilling flints to make fire and teaching people to cook food to eat, which extended people's lifespan. The idiom, prolong life and prolong life, comes from this person. In the 1980s, the Chinese archaeological community discovered late Suiren ruins at the Nanzhuangta site in Xuxue, Hebei province. Two types of pottery sherds were unearthed, one was dark gray pottery with sand and the other was reddish-brown pottery with sand. According to scientific research, this is the earliest Neolithic site in northern China, dating back about 10,500 to 9,700 years ago. The Nanzhuangta site revealed to the world that as early as 10,000 years ago, Chinese ancestors were able to produce pottery. This is important physical evidence of the transition of the Chinese race from primitive times to civilized times. The Suiren family invented artificial fire, which ended the ancient history of humans eating hair and drinking blood, and ushered in a new era of Chinese civilization. He was revered as the Sui Emperor and the ancestor of fire. The invention of fire gave humans the warmth they could create, provided weapons and conditions for the gathering of ancient humans, and provided the source of the idea of human beings living in groups. The invention of fire created the gestation period of Chinese national culture. As the head of the three emperors, the Suiren clan was honored as Sui Emperor. After thousands of experiments, he finally found two methods of making fire by drilling wood and striking stones, which enabled the ancestors of the Chinese nation to master the technology of using fire and making fire. Since flint wood is mostly used in drilling wood to make fire, people respect the person who invented the artificial fire-making technology as Sui and call him Suiren clan. The ancient people believed in Sui and followed Sui, and soon formed an ancient human clan tribe headed by Sui. This clan tribe was vividly called Sui Ming Kingdom, today's Hunan, by later generations. Suiren also invented Tao Wan and established the eight-string standard calendar. We also discovered the Tianzang, Tianji, Taiji seal and Taiji vortex cosmic biochemical patterns. Emperor Fuxi Fuxi, surname Ji, given name Shi, was the son of Suiren and Hua Su. People from Jian, Jiangxi, one said, Chengji people from Shangxi, another said, people from Shangqiu, Hunan, and still another said, people from Jiaozuo, Hunan. His wife Niuwa is from Fengxiang County, Shangxi Province. In historical records, he is called Fu Shi, also written as Fu Shi, Pao Shi, Bao Shi, and Fu Shi. He is also called Shi Huang, Huang Shi, Taihao, and Qing Emperor. He is one of the five heavenly emperors. Legend has it that he was born in the Qing Dynasty, about the early Neolithic age. Fuxi is the humanistic ancestor of the Chinese nation in ancient legends, the earliest king recorded in ancient Chinese books, and one of the originators of Chinese medicine. According to legend, Fuxi had the head of a human and the body of a snake. He married his brother and sister Niuwa and gave birth to children. According to the changes in the world, he invented divination and gossip, and created writing to end the history of tying knots to record events. Emperor Shennong Emperor of the Earth, that is, Emperor Yen, nickname, Shennong, historically known as Shennong or Yendi Shennong, surname, Ji, given name, Nian. Zhu Yuanzhang believed that Emperor Yen had a tough life, so he added a senior, Shi, so he his name was changed to Ji Shi Nian by Ming Taizu Zhu Yuanzhang. 
This shows that from ancient times until King Wu of Zhou divided the princes and reclassified surnames, the only ones who ruled the world were a few women, Juling, Ju surname, Huaxiu, Hua surname, Niuwa, female surname, all have the surname Ji. Yendi Shennong made important contributions to the survival, reproduction and development of the Chinese nation. 1. Making grass and growing grains laid the foundation of agriculture and industry. The use of grass and the planting of grains have solved the major problem of people's livelihood, promoted the development of agricultural production, and created conditions for human beings to transform from primitive nomadic life to agricultural civilization. 2. A store was established and a market was opened for the first time. According to the Book of Changes Zixia, Shennong made the middle of the day a market, bringing together the people of the world, gathering the goods of the world, trading and retreating, and everyone got his own place. The barter market invented by Shennong with Japan and China as the market was the origin and cornerstone of Chinese currency and commercial development. 3. Curing hemp into cloth, the people wear clothes. Primitive people had no clothes and could only cover themselves with leaves and animal skins. Only after Shennong taught people to use hemp and mulberry as cloth did people have clothes. This was a major step forward for mankind from an ignorant society to a civilized society. 4. Make a five-stringed harp to entertain the people. According to Sherben, Part 2, Shennong invented the musical instrument. He cut tongue trees to make a chin and knotted silk to make strings. This kind of chin was later called Shennong's chin. The Shennong chin is 3 feet, 6 inches, and 6 minutes long, with 5 strings on it, gong, shang, jiao, zheng, and yu. The sound produced by this kind of harp can tell the virtues of heaven and earth, express the harmony of Shennong, and entertain people. 5. He cut wood into a bow and used it to command the world. Shennong invented the bow and arrow, which effectively prevented the attacks of wild beasts, effectively combated the invasion of foreign tribes, and protected people's lives and the fruits of their labor. 6. Make pottery and improve your life. Before the invention of pottery, people could only use fire to grill food. With pottery, people can steam and process food, store items, make wine, and sterilize. The use of pottery has improved human living conditions and had a profound impact on human food hygiene and the development of medicine. In order to encourage people to live a regular life and cultivate crops according to the seasons, Shennong also established a calendar, set up stars, divided day and night, fixed the sun and the month, the month was 30 days, and November was the winter solstice. Shennong managed the tribe and governed the world very well. He does not expect retribution, does not covet the world's wealth, and the world is rich. Wisdom is more valuable than others, and the world respects it. He is virtuous and righteous, he does not reward but the people are diligent. He does not punish but he is right, he does not resent and fight but he is wealthy, he does not impose orders but the people obey, he is powerful but does not kill, he is law-abiding but not annoying, and the people all respect him. Shennong is the founder of Chinese education. He taught the people to use tools, sow grains, traditional Chinese medicine, pottery making and painting, bow and arrow, animal hunting, fitness, piano making, music and dance, and wisdom and virtue. It can be seen that during the period of Emperor Yen, morality, intelligence, body, and beauty were fully valued and developed. The spirit of Shennong enabled Chinese descendants to get rid of ignorance and barbarism and pursue advancement in their struggle with nature and society. This spirit has enabled the Chinese nation to achieve a high degree of unity and unity. Among Shennong's many deeds, the most praised ones are making grass and growing grains. This is why he is called Shennong. Shennong is also known as the Sun God, King of Medicine, King of Five Grains, first emperor of five grains, Shenlong, etc. There are different opinions on the history of the three emperors. Let's introduce the historical basis and different opinions and records about the three emperors. The three emperors originated from ancient Chinese legends. 
The three emperors are the names of the Emperor of Heaven, the Emperor of Earth, and the Emperor of Thailand. The earliest existing written records are found in Historical Records The Chronicles of Qin Shi Huang. The river map covers the earth, when the heaven and the earth were first established, there was the emperor's family, and they were indifferent to nature, and they were on the same path as the North Pole. There was an emperor when the world first opened, and he was the same as the North Pole. His status was extremely noble. The title of three emperors was first seen in Zhou Li Chun Guan Wai Shi and historical records The Chronicles of the First Emperor of Qin, as discussed by Dr. Qin, in ancient times, there were emperors of heaven, emperors of earth, and emperors of Tai. The emperor of Tai was the most noble. Emperor of Tai, it refers to the human emperor, which actually means that the emperor of heaven and the emperor of earth are both gods, figures and legends, but the human emperor is the real ruler who rules the real society. Therefore, Wang Wan, Feng Jia and Li Si all said that the emperor of Thailand is the most noble. Because historical records is a recorded Chinese history, and three emperors is an oral history, Sima Qian did not record it. Therefore, Taishir company Ma Qian did not use three emperors in historical records, but from the beginning of the five emperors. The three emperors and five emperors are just some artificial names of later generations. Praise them and turn them into myths. The three emperors are also known as the king of medicine and the god of medicine. Historical records, the chronicles of the first emperor of Qin, I would like to discuss with the doctors, in ancient times, there were emperors of heaven, emperors of earth, and emperors of Tai, and the emperor of Tai was the most noble. Historical records, the chronicles of the three emperors, quotes Hichu and San Wuli Ji, the emperor of heaven, the emperor of earth, and the emperor of human beings. Taiping Yulan, quotes Spring and Autumn Wei, the emperor of heaven, the emperor of earth, and the emperor of human beings. Customs and meanings Huangba, comes first, quoting Spring and Autumn Weft Movement Do Shu, Fushi, Nuwa, and Shenong. Shangshu de Zhuan, Suiren, Fuxi, and Shennong are the three emperors. One of them. She may be called Suiren, or she may be called Nuwa, or she may be called Shennong. It is unclear whether it is right or wrong. Volume 8, Combined Edition of Itzihai, the last statement reflects the development of economic life in primitive society. In fact, it refers to the groups and individuals who have made great contributions to the people in primitive society, such as the floods in the ancient prehistoric era, led by Gun later, in order to commemorate and commemorate the achievements of these groups and individuals, people mythologized them one by one and classified them as gods and figures for worship, forming the beautiful folklore we have seen. The first volume of Yi Wen Lei Ju, quote Su Zhang's San Wu Li Ji, the sky is extremely high, the earth is extremely deep, and Pangu is extremely long. There are three emperors after that. According to, the three emperors, Taiping Yulan Volume Qi Ba quotes Spring and Autumn Wei, as saying, the emperor of heaven, the emperor of earth, the emperor of human beings, nine brothers, are divided into nine governors of the world. Volume 9 of, the supplementary notes, written by Wang Jia of the Jin Dynasty says, Pinsi State, has a large maple tree, Chenglin. There is a large stone room to the east of the tree, which can accommodate 10,000 people. On the wall are carved the images of the three emperors, the emperor of heaven has 13 heads, the emperor of earth has 11 heads, and the emperor of humanity has 9 heads, all with dragon bodies. This covers the myth of the three emperors. There are many other people who talk about the three emperors. For example, Shangshu de Zhuan, edited by Chen Shouqi of the Qing dynasty, lists Suiren, Fuxi, and Shennong as the three emperors. Han Bangu and others compiled by Hutang and lists Fuxi, Shennong, and Suiren or Fuxi, Shennong, and Zhu Rong was the three emperors, Spring and Autumn Weft Transport Do Shu listed Fuxi, Shennong, and Nuwa as the three emperors, Jin Huangfumi's Century of Emperors listed Fuxi, Shennong and Huangdi as the three emperors, 
Tang Sima Zhen's historical records supplement to the three emperors Fuxi, Nuwa, Shennong are the three emperors, and so on.